Hi, this is Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a person who still likes to write letters and use stationery and things of that sort. And um, so I thought about trying to do some original stationery using my 9 by 12 gel plate which just gives me a little bit more room to work with and my um, 8 by 11 computer paper and as you see here I've already started by putting some um, manganese blue mixed with white titanium white just so that I can just get a clean pull just of a light color mm. and I'm using the 6 by 9 envelope and so I'm going to pull a little color on half of it as well So it's nice if we can put a design on the envelope as well. Okay, let me peel the envelope up first. And so here we have this at the bottom. I guess some of my paint dried on. But we have enough of it with a nice pull of blue. Okay, so let me also try I'll put a bit of a darker blue, some phthalo blue. So to mix a little bit of that in with some more white, titanium white. that the part I'll take the sheet and just the top of it a part of it get this blue and the top part actually the back of the envelope Get a little blue. So it just looks like different pattern blue. I'm just taking the color, mixing it before we add the flowers to it. Now generally I wouldn't get paint on the back of this paper because that's usually the side that I would write my letter in.
but be that as it may. We can always cover that up as well with just a very pale color on the back. So here we have some nice blues going on. Okay. And the bottom of the envelope has some nice stuff going on as well. So now I have a stencil with flowers here and I'd like to add some flowers to the blue background here on the paper as the front of your stationery. So now I will put a mixture of ultramarine marine violet cadmium red little green gold And I will use my smaller brayer to mix these colors randomly. So that when I put the stencil down, we can pull. Some colors might put a little bit more violet. Let's see what we can pull. Through the stencil and pull up some of these colors here. Okay, well, we were able to pull up some pretty flowers for the cover of your stationery. And that's pretty simple, I'm thinking. was wondering if I could get a second pull for my envelope. And so I just will go in and just pull some areas. Get pulled up some there. Let's see. 
don't want too much red. Well, that can't be helped. Okay, so we're able to pull up some colors on the envelope. And so, I will add um, Let's see if I can add a transparent color to that. Here, I'll try some iridescent gold. Pretty translucent. Let's see if we can take a pull to the top of the envelope that was just. Plain white, and this is all random, unplanned, just decorating an envelope. And there we get that nice iridescent gold on there. Guess we can pull up a little bit more for the back of the envelope. Lay it down this way. Pick up some color. Now this can be an envelope that you mail. You may want to put it inside of a different envelope when you mail your letter. Or you can mail it in this envelope. So we get some of the colors pulled up there on the back. And you get this nice iridescent color on the top. And something just as simple as that. Move this aside. Makes for a nice little stationary set flowers, the blue sky background, and flowers at the bottom of the envelope. So if you wanted to send something unique, that's pretty simple to do. We could take a pull with another one. And I think with that one, we will take a pull with, let's see, a solid background to start with. Start with some cadmium yellow.
just maybe I'll put a little bit more because I need to pull four. Well, I'm not going to do an envelope with this one. Just um, some paper for the stationery. It's pretty simple and quick to do. You can also apply the same concept to cards. You can take some card stock and pull it with any stencil that you want to use. And this is pretty because the yellow picked up all the previous colors that was on the plate. Often I leave my plate, as opposed to cleaning it, especially if it has some nice colors that um, I want to come off the next time I do a pull. Okay, so here I have this stencil, which is just a leaf stencil. And... I think what I'll do is lay it down. I'm trying to get it straight. And um, some green here, chromium oxide. I only want to pull the leaf on top of the yellow. Well, this is pretty much hugging the plate, trying to press out some air bubbles so the paint doesn't go underneath the stencil. I don't want the paint to go under the stencil. So I'll use a little Hopefully we can keep the uh, the imprint. And here's a little green gold, which is it's a little lighter green. And let's see if I can add a little orange, trying to get some fall colors here. See, hopefully it won't end up smudging at all. I thought that was my wipe-up sheet, but it wasn't. Okay. So here we have a clean hole. And we're going to take our stationary paper
lay it down. So that's very simple um, for stationery. And you can do the same thing. If I had another envelope, um, we could then I would pull that ghost print. And so those are simple examples of. Some letter writing paper if you still like to write notes. These are just two very simple examples along with the envelope of just how you would do that. So you can make your own stationary paper, decorate your envelopes if you want to send something, a special note to someone. Thanks for stopping by.